Hello, friends, and welcome. As we pass through the ups and downs of this journey we call life, our spirits may need cleansing from time to time. So we must always remember to devote oneself unreservedly to Christ's holy essence and keep our spirits feeling fresh for Christ's sake. Hello everyone, thanks for tuning in and welcome to For Christ's Sake. We have a very special guest with us today. Please won't you help me welcome evangelist extraordinaire, Mr. Ray Comfort. That's comfort! Yeah, that's what I said. Comfort. What? Okay, the lines are full, so let's get right to our what? calls. Oi! Uh, yes, yes, Ray, you want to say something? Yeah, I brought something with me that'll show you just how ridiculous evolution is. Have a look at this. <coughs> it's a kirka duck! <coughs> Quack. Okay, let's <coughs> let's go to the. <coughs> All right, let's take a call. <coughs> Somebody shut that goddamn thing up! I'm trying to do a goddamn show. <coughs> Hello, caller. Welcome to the show. You're on, for Christ's sake. Hello. I have some questions for you. That's what we're here for. I'm wondering, why is God male? You mean, why do we think of him as male? That's a very interesting question, caller. However, it seems to me that... Does God have a dick? <laughs> why would he have a dick? I'm sorry, caller. I really don't know, but I would appreciate it if you could. Why watch does he your have way. a dick? Now look, I've asked you politely to watch your language. If you can't, I'm going to have to cut you off. I know that looking at the Torah and the Quran and the Bible, God is certainly a dick. But does he have one? Can you imagine eternity with a penis and no partner? You know, I just don't understand how people can get so much pleasure out of mocking our creator. Giggity, giggity. Yeah, especially when clear proof of his existence is all around us. Here, look at this banana. <coughs> this was obviously designed to fit right up my bum. <coughs> and listen to this. And yea unto thee, who lift up spoons to nibble Rocky Balboa, chicken bum banana patch, saith the French tickler. Amazing. <coughs> Ray, what the hell was that? Uh, plate tectonics? In the Bible. Amazing. That's, uh, that's great, right? Who booked this guy? Go ahead, Color. You're on for Christ's sake. Hi, boys. I was hoping a couple of fine, intelligent, and handsome young men, such as yourselves, might be able to help me get a firm grip on this Holy Trinity thing. I've been thinking long and hard about this. But I just can't wrap my legs, I mean, my mind, around it. Could you imagine the three of us in the same place? At the same time, coming together. Can you imagine that? Oops. Pies are done. Gotta go. No, wait, wait. 
Bye, boys. Hello, Sean. It's your mother. Yeah. <laughs> Come fight. No, on your way home, I want you to pick me up some vinegar and water. And steel wool. I smell like a goddamn tuna factory. <laughs> Ray, would you knock it off already? <laughs> I'm stuck. <laughs> yeah. Now just cut the break, will you? Nice cut, Spielberg. God damn it, I'm gonna kill that motherfucker! Mm. God damn it, I hate you, Ray. Shut up, douchebag! <laughs>